Do you recognize this? This is plastic sheathing electrical wire, and it's used extensively throughout your home. Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and I'm here to talk a little bit about plastic sheathing electrical wire and how it's used and actually how to work with it. Um, plastic sheathing electrical wiring is also referred to by many as Romex cable or Romex wire. Effectively, it's the same thing. Romex is just a brand name of plastic sheathing electrical wire. In addition, there may be references to NM sheathing wire. Um, again, it's the same thing. It's just uh, the NM stands for non-metallic. The reason there's a reference to non-metallic is that there's, in addition to plastic sheathing, metal sheathing electrical wire on the market today. Uh, the situation with metal um, sheathing wire, it's a little bit more difficult to work with. It's heavier and more difficult to pull through holes in the stud walls. With plastic sheathing electrical wiring, there's either two insulated wires within a bundle in a bare copper or three insulated wires in a bare copper wire inside the uh, Romex cable. Uh, in the um, type of wire that has three insulated wires, there's normally a black or red for your hot uh, signals or your hot power and one white for your neutral and the bare wire for the ground. Whereas in the two insulated wire bundle, there's actually just a black and a white wire. When you're looking to buy plastic sheathing electrical wiring, you'll see reference or hear references to 14-2 or 12-2 or 14-3 or 12-3. And the 14 number or 12 number stands for the gauge of the wire uh, in the circuit. And a 14 gauge wire is meant for a 15 amp circuit breaker, um, whereas a 12 gauge wire is meant for a 20 amp circuit breaker. Um, the, the second number in it, the dash two or dash three, uh, again, refers to the number of insulated uh, wires within the Romex cable. Again, with a 14-2 or a 12-2, you have two uh, insulated wires, again, black and a white with the bare copper. And in a 14-3, you have um, three insulated wires, a black and a red, which are for hot applications, and the white, which is for neutral, and the ground, uh, which is a bare copper. To remove the sheathing from a Romex cable, I've got this neat little tool here that allows you to just slide over the end of the Romex cable. You just simply just squeeze on it and then just pull. And you can simply remove the sheathing after pulling the uh, tool. And as you can see here, we can expose the insulated wires. Um, we can take a utility knife and cut away the excess sheathing. And then with a pair of wire strippers, remove a half inch or so of the insulation from the insulated wires. And finally, when buying Romex cable, make sure you buy the right circuit breaker along with it. A 14-2 or a 14-3 uh, Romex cable should be using a 15 amp circuit breaker. And a 12-2 or 12-3 Romex cable should be using a 20 amp circuit breaker. So that's it. If you have any other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.